Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. Today, Tony Brown finally shows off our first fruits. As we all had known before now, Tony Brown gave birth to our first child with her husband, Paul Olia Jeremy Rulua, in 2019. But that is not Tony's first fruit. And we also know that Tony Abraham's husband, Paul Olia Jeremy, was a single father until he met Tony Abraham and finally took her to the altar and made, and made her his wife. So Kola Olia Jeremy already had a teenage daughter to be talking about Jeremy and she's currently 14 years old. And over this period between 2019 and 2021, a lot of people have spoken about the special relationship between Tony Abraham and David or Jeremy and how stepmothers should be able to emulate Tony Abraham to have peace, love and joy in their homes. Also, numerous times, the Mitopo has shown off Tony Abraham on their social media platforms to acknowledge her efforts in her life. And this little girl does not hide it at all that Tony Abraham has a special place in her life as a mother and she does not hide it from everyone. In fact, so many people have asked, who is the Mitopo Jeremy's biological mother? In addition, we all know that the Mitopo Jeremy grew up with her father and has been with her father before Tony Abraham came into the picture. And today Tony Abraham reviews her first fruit, her very first child, and it is not a real one. So who is Tony Abraham's first fruit? Well, Tony Abraham shared a lovely photo of her baby girl and her model daughter and says, this is my first fruit. My model daughter, Demi Tokwe Ajayemi. So for Tony Abraham, Demi Tokwe Ajayemi is her first fruit and her daughter, her first child. Even though biologically, she gave birth to Rilu Ajayemi, which is her first child. These two have going to become envy of many Nigerians because of this, their unique relationship. As the stories we often hear about stepmothers and stepdaughters have not been so encouraging. But those ones are special. And Tony even says it publicly now that Timothy YDM is a first fruit, a very first child. Please stay with us if you still want to know more about Tony Abraham. Tony Abraham was formerly known as Olu Tony Aimaku, but then she changed her name from Olu Tony Aimaku to Tony Abraham four years ago. And then added her husband's last name at GM to her name, making her Tony Abraham at GM. As it is, she's now a mother of two, even though biologically she has been birth to only one child. But she has fully adopted him as her own very child. And today she has announced that the little girl is her very first fruit, her first child. According to some reports, Tony Abraham was born in Auchi, part of Edo State. And then even Wikipedia says she's close to 40. But then she celebrated her 40th birthday last year. She spent her early life in Ibadan. Primary school, secondary school, tertiary education. Before she went to other states like Oko State and Oshun State to get some degrees. But most of her early life, she spent it in Ibadan, in New York State. Tony Abraham is the youngest of five children. Her parents took part in a number of family activities. And her mother is also a pastor. Her late father worked with Hebrew organization before retirement. When Tony was a very little child, and they all relocated to Ibadan, in you know, your state. So for education, she attended Obakenzo Nojo Primary School. That was where she started from, before they relocated to Ibadan. And Ibadan, she proceeded to Queen Staff School, before she now went to St. Anne's School, also in Ibadan. Thereafter, she proceeded to Europe Polytechnic in Oshun State, where National Diploma Business Studies. She also attended Olabison Banjo University to bag a degree in philosophy. Before returning, to a polytechnic fan, HNG marketing. She has often mentioned how tough her background was, how she had to work to support her family. And coincidentally, to him, joined this movie industry in the year 2003. It was on the set of Bookie Rights movie to be Bembo, and she was only there to help them on set. But an actress was missing that day, she didn't show up, and Tony was asked to fill in for that position. And that was how her journey began in the movie industry. Even though she joined this movie industry in 2003, she didn't take it up professionally until between 2004 and 2005. Her motivation to join the movie industry came from her boss, Bookie Rand, who is an AC brand and joined actress. So, Tony first featured in Bookie's movie, Do Not Remember, and subsequently she began to start in other films until she rose to stardom. As Tony grew in the movie industry, she started producing her own movies. The very first movie she produced is Allah Jota, and she also had plans to produce Allah Jota with them. Tony Abraham today is one of the biggest brands in the Nigerian movie industry, and according to her, staying in the local force and working with the movie director Moe Bully was highly instrumental to her brand. She's not relenting, she has the consistency making a name for herself. 
Some of the movies she has featured them over the years include Ige 2021, Osha 2021, The Therapist 2021, The Prophetess 2021, Face of Alakana 2020, Dear Afi 2020, Small Chops 2020, Elevator Baby 2019, Don't Get Mad, Get Even 2019, Made in Heaven 2019, The Millions 2019, Casanova 2019, Bling Ligotians 2019, Nimbe 2019, Ghost and Cow 2018, Seven and a Half Dates 2018, This Guys 2018, What Just Happened 2018, La Cala Reloaded 2017, Esui 2017, Akunde 2017, Mentally 2017, Tattoo 2017, London Fever 2018, Wild and Short Revolution 2018, Celebrity Marriage 2017, Okafor's Law 2016, What Makes You Think 2016, Lost in the Hair 2016, Alanimba Balabake 2013, AB Mini 2013, Ala Kana 2013, Ashala Fukbani, just to mention a few of them. Over the years, she has also won several awards and nominations. Some of her awards, notable awards and nominations, include Best Supporting Actress, Yoruba Category, AB Mini, Best Honorary Awards 2013, Best Actress in the Supporting Role for the Movie SOE, African Movie Academy Awards, AMA 2018, Best Actress in the Supporting Role, for a role in the movie Diamond in the Sky English, based on Hollywood 2019. Best Actress for a role in the movie Alakada Ben TV Awards 2014. Best Indigenous Actress Nigerian Entertainment Awards 2014. The Best Supporting Actress Future from Hakunde Five Continents International Film Festival 2019. Best Actress in Hollywood Mokli OU Awards May 2019. The Best Female Acts Nigerian Entertainment Awards NE 2019. Best Actress for a role in the movie Alakada Reloaded The Exodus Lady of the Year LO 2019. Best Supporting Actress for World Movie Tattoo, African Magic Vs. Choice Awards, AMVC 2018. Best Actress in Africa, African Magic Vs. Choice Awards, AMVC 2020. And Best Actress of the Year, Africa Choice Awards. Just to mention a few of them. So he has always been open about her struggles, including her struggle with infertility, before she finally had her son in Renoir. And officially, in October 2019, she launched a herbal medicine business, Tony Hibbert. A subsidiary of Tony Brown Company. This was shortly after she revealed her challenging and journey was to motherhood. And according to her, she discovered a lot of people have abandoned the traditional remedies that saved their forefathers during crisis of childlessness. Rather, they have sought out other modern inventions which are quite expensive and probably harmful to their health. As a result of this, she launched the Female Fertility Booster, a product that makes childbearing and conceiving easier. She's also a major brand ambassador to several reputable brands. Today, she's one of the biggest social influencers we have in Nigeria. And can you for those companies that NG estimated her net worth two years ago to be around $500,000. So she's one of the richest and most influential actresses we have in the entire Nigerian movie industry. We have come to the end of this episode. Tony Abraham officially announces a show of our first fruit, our very first job. We hope you enjoyed this episode and let's on the two new clean subscribe and hit the bell icon for our daily content.